you guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am OMG Becca G. Halloween is officially days away. With that, a lot of us are out looking for ghosts and goblins and some sort of an adrenaline rush. And that can be a lot of fun, but I wanted to take this opportunity to warn you guys about my personal experience with the Ouija boy. Or the spirit board, as some people like to call it. I do know that there are a lot of skeptics out there that don't really believe in this sort of thing, and I do just want to go ahead and say that before my personal experience, I too was a skeptic. Also, I just want to put a little disclaimer and say that I don't recommend anybody playing with a Ouija board, not um, saying that anybody should go out and buy a Ouija board or play with one. This is actually kind of like my warning for people not to. When I was a teenager, I went to a sleepover that had about five or six kids there. We were all having innocent fun, and then it got dark. Somebody pulled out a Ouija board. This was my first time ever being around a Ouija board or a spirit board, and I honestly just thought it was a board game. So we all put one hand on there. We started asking it questions. Is anybody there? When it moved to yes, I honestly thought to myself, this is so fake. I thought, we are moving this. One of us is moving this. Then we asked, what is your name? And it went to B, E, N. I was thinking to myself, if we're all collectively moving this, it's going to be kind of hard to spell out an actual word. I figured it was going to make mumbo jumbo. I just figured that one of us in the group was spelling it out. We continued to have a conversation with this ghost. We found out that his name was Ben, he was eight years old, he was buried in a cemetery locally. He even said that he didn't have a tombstone, which made our imaginations go wild. Was he murdered? Was he buried in the cemetery but just didn't have a tombstone? Maybe nobody knew he was buried there? Was he asking us for help? We didn't know. Time went on, they kept having a conversation with this ghost, and I kind of started to feel like it wasn't true. I kind of felt like um, somebody was pulling my leg, and so I just pulled my hand away. I didn't go to goodbye that they had written out on the board. I have read since then that anytime you talk to a ghost, you're supposed to go to goodbye to kind of close out the conversation so they don't, I guess, stay attached to you or something. I don't know. So I just pulled my hand away and that was that. Fast forward a few years later, somehow I ended up with a Ouija board. Now my mom has always been very against Ouija boards. My mom has always said, don't play with them, they're not cool, they're dangerous, blah, blah, blah. But somehow, I ended up with a Ouija board at my mom's house, and if she would have known, she would have burned it or something. So I don't know how I ended up with it. I know I didn't buy it, and I don't think anybody gave it to me. And even if they did, how do we sneak it in my house? I don't know. So I got one of my friends to come and stay the night at my house. This friend was not at the previous sleepover. All I told her about the previous sleepover was that I had been to a sleepover, where a bunch of us used the Ouija board and I honestly didn't believe in it and I thought it was fake. So I told her, let's just see if the Ouija board really works. Don't move it, don't lie to me or anything. We asked, is anybody there? And at first it didn't move and I honestly thought I knew it, I knew it was fake, I knew it. Then it, it started moving and it slowly went up to yes. And I can remember it so vividly. It went to yes and I remember like one of the little pegs on the whatever the thing's called. I remember it like went off the board. It was weird. It kept going off the board. I remember even saying, stop messing with me. Don't move this. I wanted to see if it really works. And she's like, her eyes are big. And she's like, I'm not. Okay. Then we asked, what is your name? Keep in mind, I did not tell her the story about the previous sleepover. I just had said that I had been to one and I want to see if it works. I didn't tell her the conversation we had with the ghost. I said, what is your name? And it went to B E N O. MG. When it went, to, when it said Ben again, that's when I knew. That's when I was like, oh my god. She didn't know about the, the, the ghost's name being Ben. She didn't know. When it did that, I instantly screamed, pulled my hands away, and ran into my bathroom. And we spent the rest of the night sleeping in my bathroom, swearing up and down. We could see shadows underneath the door, like pacing in the hallway. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how that happened, I mean, unless it's real, because she did not know the, the ghost that I had talked to that his name was Ben. So after these two instances, I have kind of read a little bit about Ouija boards, and I, I'm terrified of them now, and I also read that you're supposed to go to Goodbye to be able to close out the conversation, um, something about so the, the ghost can't attach himself to you. 
Um, I wish I would have done that. And now I honestly think that I am still haunted by this little eight-year-old ghost. And I feel bad. I want to look into what I can possibly do to set him free or something. So if anybody knows how to get rid of a ghost, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also, I always love to go on ghost hunts and adventures and just kind of get that adrenaline pumping, especially around this time of year. And a couple of years ago, we went with a ghost hunting team to a abandoned nursing home, one of the first nursing homes built here in our town. So it's very historic. We went there and we had different uh, equipment to try to help us communicate with the said ghost. And I do this because I know a lot of people are skeptics. Whatever you want to call it, ghosts, spirits, goblins, demons, I don't know. Something was making that move. Something is named Ben that was communicating with me on that board both times. And then something was manipulating the equipment in that nursing home. So they were using the equipment to try to like have a conversation with whatever ghosts or spirits or goblins or demons or whatever are in the nursing home. They had been asking questions and the light would come on and off like right at the right moments they were basically communicating with something in there then they started asking it are you an old lady are you an old man and the light didn't go off they said are you a little girl and the light didn't go off and then they said are you a little boy and the light went off i instantly like i was in the back of the group and i instantly just kind of got chills all over like what why is a little boy in a nursing home? Then I whispered to the person who was asking the spirit questions. I said, ask if its name is Ben. And when I said Ben, boom, the light came on and I screamed bloody murder. I don't know why it was so terrifying to me. It just kind of validated all of my crazy thoughts. Like, is this little boy Ben still following me around? Is he attached to me for some reason? Because I didn't go to goodbye the two times that I talked to him. I don't know. Either way, it's very, very creepy. And now anytime anything creepy happens around me, I just say, oh, it must be Ben. Whether you do or don't believe, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do celebrate Halloween, I hope you have a very happy and safe one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. OMG, Becca G. Hey, mama. OMG.